We are a team of, of people of different expertise around glaciers. We have glaciologists, we have uh, I'm a sort of microbiologists, we have media people. And uh, that's, that's a great advantage because I, I don't necessarily know everything about how glaciers move and, and, and how, uh, how they melt and why they melt, but I know about the microbes living on them. And then we can not only generate very, very valuable data, but we can also raise awareness um, by, by um, uh, making short movies by writing blogs on that and then, and, and then really going public with it. My role on the team is uh, to, to fulfill the promise that we made to our supporters that we're going to push out to social media and, and as immediately as possible uh, everything that we're doing uh, both in terms of the samples that we're gathering, where we're gathering them, uh, how the scientists are working together, why they're here. So this is it. We have here on the surface this dark material, and I used to think that this was just dust. They're here working in difficult circumstances. To pull back just a single piece of uh, data, just a single point, that will make uh, painstakingly over time part of a much larger picture. So I'm browsing this NASA website where they have publicly available uh, visualizations of various things like the Greenland mass balance and glacier changes. Something that's really putting wind in my sails these days is um, using media and creating our own um, videos and web products to communicate our science to a broader audience. Okay, go. So we've made it to West Greenland where in 2012, record melting produced flooding that washed out the bridge behind me realized that a lot of the science has just been gathering virtual dust. The number of people that actually get access to that science is so limited. There is a fiction that's been created that the scientists are in some kind of ivory tower world where they look at computer models and, and fabricate uh, crazy ideas. But uh, everything that we know about climate science is grounded in this hard, uh, bit by bit, detail by detail, constantly questioning and testing process that has gone on for 150 years. Because of what's happening with the ice sheets shrinking and, and raising sea levels and changing climate, this is a story that needs to get out to the public. We might not have the whole answer, we probably don't, but we're trying something different. The crowdfunding certainly isn't just about financing our work, it's about connecting people with the science.